But on this particular day, I cannot explain to you enough how shitty <coughs> Hello, Poppets! How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's my birthday when I'm filming this. Of course, you're gonna see this after my birthday, and you're gonna tell me happy birthday. I'm gonna be like, no, you forgot my birthday. So, as you've been in my class before, you know right now I'm gonna tell you what. Follow me on my Twitter. That's right, Jen to the Den. And also, there's a new app. It's called Be Go Live. It's in the very beginning stages, and I'm helping to promote it. And I'm doing that by doing live broadcasts every Monday evening at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All you have to do is go to the App Store. It's free. Look for Be Go Live. Download it, and then look for me, Jen Dent, or Jen to the Den. I think you can find me that way also. Like I said, I'll be doing a broadcast on Monday after you see this. The very next Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can catch me on Bigo. Anyway, take a breath because I'm getting ready to talk about something that's very, very serious and close to my heart. And it's, it's a man named Mark. There was a man named Mark and I have to tell you, I, I missed that opportunity. I fucked it up and I let him go and I'm, I'm sad about that. Um, I'm so sad about it that, uh, I'm drinking on my birthday! Really, I'm a shit magnet. And what kills me is people don't ever believe me when I tell them that, but dude, I'm a shit magnet. I'm a fucking shit magnet. If there is shit anywhere within a hundred miles of me, it will find me. There's a lot of you watching this right now who know exactly what I'm talking about because you were there and you saw it. You saw how I fucked up and let Mark go forever and I'm pretty fucking broke up about it. Anyway, here we go. Here's the story. This all comes down to something I shared on Facebook. And what I've been noticing during this election season, and I think that Facebook is doing this on purpose, somehow when you post something on Facebook, all sorts of people are seeing it who are not on your friends list. I don't really know how that's happening. I mean, and you can try to say it's not because of the election, but that doesn't really happen any other time. I don't have all these weird people coming onto my page and just like participating on my posts when um, I didn't invite you on my page. I don't know who you are and you're arguing with me and I literally don't know who you are. With that being said, I posted this meme on my Facebook and here it is. I posted it, you know, went about my business, but on this particular day, I cannot explain to you enough how shitty of a day I had had. I'm sure you've all been there where you just wake up and it's just like, yeah, this, this is gonna be shitty. And it was shitty all day. And honestly, I was just in a really bad mood. And I had had enough by the time Mark showed up. So I posted this meme and you know, several friends, they show up and they're like, but Hillary, but the emails. So the night went on, wasn't having a good one, not gonna lie to anybody. And I'm laying in bed and all of a sudden at 9.53 p.m. Mark shows up. I don't know Mark. I don't have any mutual friends with Mark. I checked. So how did Mark see my Facebook post? Hmm, Zuckerberg? Mark shows up. The voice of reason. Please stop this. All has been said. We will see what happens next week. And I said, uh, dude, this is my page. You're not on my friends list. And here's the part where we started having trouble. He writes at 10.15 p.m. Don't censor. Friend me. I read that and I was just like, okay, this bitch, like, whatever, dude. I keep watching TV. I'm watching the CMAs because Beyonce is going to be on CMAs. And I fucking love Beyonce. So I'm like glued to the TV waiting for Beyonce to show up at the CMAs. 10.22 p.m. He edits his post. All you have to do is look at it and if it says edited at the bottom, you click on edited and it will show you what they originally said and what they edited it to. So a little while later, I just happened to go back and notice that at 10.22, he edited his comment to say, Don't censor. I'll consider your friend request. Bitch, what? So I screenshot. Here you go. Here's a screenshot that I posted, which absolutely just devastated Mark, which I will explain to you next. I posted that screenshot to show that he came on my Facebook page, basically told me to stop posting about what I was posting about, and then wanted me to add him as a friend. And then I guess as time went by and I didn't answer him, he got in his feelings and he had edited the post to make it look like I had sent him a friend request, which... 
why so I posted that and I just said go away please just just go away dude like I don't I know everyone has had bad days I had had a bad day I wasn't in the mood for this shit two minutes after I posted that screenshot I am shocked that you find time to take screenshots how about this you go away you're obviously too uptight to talk openly about politics I said I don't know how to make this more clear to you this is my page I do not know you it took me less than a second to take a screenshot of your pathetic attempt to irritate me. Why does the shit just migrate to me? I never understand why shit just migrates to me. I'll never understand it. He goes, I looked at your profile. You're a YouTuber and a volunteer. Enough said. I don't know why I'm on your thread, but your pathetic post inspired me to make a comment. I said, I'm a registered nurse along with those things, so enlighten me. What do you mean by enough said when you said I'm a YouTuber and a volunteer? I love it when people put YouTubers down. Do you know how much work this fucking takes? This is not easy, dudes. So then, like, the creep factor rises. Are you working as a registered nurse? If you are, what hospital or medical institution? Please enlighten me. I said, I work for a home care agency. Like, why do you need to know where I work? He said, I'm just trying to validate your comments and you're being very aloof about where you work. I said, you don't need to know where I work. You are making no sense. He goes, you are seriously uptight, girl. If you would like to go one-on-one -on -one talking about politics, I'll be down. I don't think you have the intelligence. Someone who takes screenshots on a virtual stranger has some serious issues. You brought this on, and I'm down to argue with you all night. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're right. I brought this on myself because I'm a girl who posted an opinion on Facebook, and then I didn't shut up when you told me to, sir. I understand, you bitch. I said, what the hell? Like, why are you even here? He said, I, I never insinuated that you sent me a friend request. I edited my comment because I didn't want it to seem that I wanted a friend request from you. I saw your profile. I'm not interested. Okay. He goes, you want to post some crazy shit about Donald Trump? You buying into this shit from the media? You're a lemming. I said, I can post whatever I want, which is what led us to where we are now. They're dictating what I can and cannot do. I said, what is your deal? Like, why are you trolling me? And he says, I'm not saying that, but I hate when ignorant people post crazy shit. I'm going to speak up. Okay. I said, this is my page. And he goes, Jen, no, it's not your page. This is Facebook. It's a public forum. I said, no, this is actually my Facebook page and you're being obnoxious as shit. Good Lord. And he goes, maybe you should unfriend some of my friends. That'll solve your fucking problem. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I should unfriend people who are my friends since you're just completely unable to censor yourself and not go onto someone's page that you don't know and start dictating what she can and cannot post on her page, then I should just unfriend people that I'm friends with like, okay, sir, okay, Mr. Man, I bow down to what you say, sir. God bless your penis. Thank you for your penis. Thank you for all of the men in the world that are here to tell me what I can and cannot do. Thanks, sir. You fucking asshole. Then I went and looked and we don't have any mutual friends. And I said, oh darn, we don't have any mutual friends. So that won't work, sir. Please tell me how to fix this situation that I have caused, sir. <laughs> this is when it just starts getting silly. And Mark says, if you actually had a job, I would invite you for coffee. And I said, you're right, sir. I'm very unemployed and I have no source of income. And he goes, I asked you what job you had, and you said you have a nursing education, which leads me to believe you have no job. I said, um, this is number two, the time that I said, um, I told you I work in a home care agency. He goes, apparently you're a YouTuber. My kids are YouTubers. I said, um, again, if you look at my profile, it says R-N-M-S-N-E-D. That means I'm a registered nurse with a master's degree in healthcare education, which means that I teach other nurses how to be nurses. I've actually been a college professor. Like, why am I arguing with some dude I don't even know? I said, yeah, I do YouTube. I get paid for it. I also work with assault victims. I write for an online publication. I'll also be speaking at Ted and Salinas in February in California like why am I even telling you this I don't know who you are am I being punked and he goes that sounds very flaky to me I said I, I don't care what it sounds like to you that's what I do are you done cuz like I'm trying to watch TV
Beyonce is coming on. And then Missy, my friend, she she comes in and she makes a good point. She must have looked at his profile and noticed that he was from Canada. Mark's from Canada. And she goes, why do people in Canada care about our politics? And I have to say, I understand why people in Canada care about our politics. I have a friend in Australia who's concerned about our politics because whoever is the leader of our country is going to be in charge, obviously, and is going to be working with leaders of other countries. So I understand that. But I'm just saying, we weren't at the level where we could think rationally <laughs> at this point. So Missy is like, why do people in Canada even care about our politics? And Mark says, We obviously have mutual friends, and that's why I saw your post. I said, no, we don't have mutual friends. At all. I said, it's very easy to check that. And he goes, Check all you want. You're capable of taking screenshots, which is very disturbing. Like, <laughs> I don't have it right here in front of me, but the next day somebody showed up and they were like, I mean, he's acting like taking screenshots is like some form of fucking witchcraft. Like, you have to like have like an eye of newt and the toe of a leprechaun to take screenshots. He goes, is there any way that I can delete you? <laughs> I, said, I mean, are you literally insane <laughs> at this point? <laughs> I said, this has to be a joke. Like, there's no way someone is this stupid. I just started begging people. I'm like, can anyone help him? Is there anyone here that can help Mark? Because Mark is seriously like, first of all, he's lost. Second of all, he's not making any sense. Can someone help him, please? Here goes Mr. Man with his penis and his testosterone, once again, telling the little girl what she should do. Jen, you need to shut it down and go to bed. The fuck? Who the fuck are you, sir? So now here goes Jen kicking into high Kanye mode. And it doesn't really come through on YouTube because you guys don't see this part of me, but when I get to a certain point, I forget all the degrees I have. I forget all of the things that I do in my daily life. And I bring it up to Kanye fucking ratchet, like pulling my earrings out, putting Vaseline on my face, getting ready to fight. And that's at the level I was getting to at this point. I said, thank you for this gift, Mark. My audience will eat this shit up. And here he comes back. He goes, Jen, remember one thing. You have no job. I said, okay, Mark. I said, I drove for seven hours today. I visited about 20 patients and I have no job. Life is super unfair. And he goes, I have to respect that, but you still haven't told me what your job is. I had told him twice that I was a home care nurse. I said, Mark, I've told you, I work for a home care agency three times now. <laughs> William goes, maybe he's suffered a mild stroke and he doesn't realize it yet. <laughs> and Mark says, that's great. I respect that you have a job. Finally, you told me. <laughs> I said, I've said it three times, Mark. And I said to everybody else, I would block him, but like, this is just too fun at this point. And he goes, block away, Jen. You're lucky I haven't blocked you. So lucky. I said, why are you worried about our election? Like, you're not voting in our election. You're not American. So, like, let's just try to, like, take it back a few notches. Let's take it down a few levels. Let's calm down, Mark. And he said, Again, you think you're from the USA? You're from parts unknown. And you disgust me. And my friend Missy goes, what in the actual fuck? And then, out of nowhere, Mark says, Jen, I looked at your profile, and there's no way that any man in his right mind is fucking you. Oh, the fucking predictable goddamn motherfucking misogyny. He goes, Obviously no boyfriend, huh, Jen? I said, why is that relevant? Like, why is that any of your business? Why does it matter if I have a boyfriend? Why does it matter if I'm fucking while I'm typing this? Why does it matter? I mean, maybe I have a girlfriend. You ever thought about that? I mean, what, what, why is that relevant? Why did you bring that into this conversation? And he goes, I checked out your profile because you're arguing with me. You should never flatter yourself from any guy checking out your profile for obvious reasons. What? What obvious real? What are you talking about? How is this real? So then I try to turn the tables on him because I'm just like, I'm being obnoxious. And I said, Mark, why don't you have a job? Okay, Jen, I've had a job for 25 years. I do good things for good people. And I said, well, where exactly do you work? Why don't you tell me exactly what institution you work for? He says, if you private message me, I will tell you where I work. I'm not going to tell you where I work on a public forum. I have a girlfriend and I'm not interested in fucking you. What the fuck? Why do you keep bringing up that you don't want to fuck me. I don't want to fuck you either. Like, why is that even a thing? Like, why? What? 
What planet is this? I said, oh, so you don't want to tell me publicly where you work, but you want to keep constantly asking me where I work. It doesn't make any sense. I said, you know what? Honestly, Mark, you seem like you have some serious mental issues. I don't know how you got on my page. I'm going to say that again. We don't have any mutual friends. So I'm just going to go ahead and block you. But rest assured, I will be making a YouTube video about this. And he goes, if you make a YouTube video about this, I'm going to sue you. I said, Mark, I want you to sue me. If I had a dollar for every time somebody has told me that they were going to sue me for true information that I put on the internet, I'd have a lot of dollars, like uh, enough to go out to eat at least. I mean, well, here's a little tip. If you don't want someone to take information that you publicly posted on a public forum, don't do it. Because like once you do that shit and it's crazy, I'm going to use it and make a YouTube video about it. Bad dad. I said, so, you know, just let me know if you need my attorney's information because I'm definitely going to make a YouTube out of this. It's going to happen, sweet cheeks. He says, I dare you to post anything about me. You are warned. And he goes, you will be receiving letters from Taylor McCaffrey. Get used to it. Who's that? They sound nice. I said, I'm going to block you now, sweet dreams. So I blocked him because it was, it was pretty late at that point and I just wanted to go to sleep. I had to get up and go to work the next day. But the next day, I really got to thinking about it and, and I missed him. So I unblocked him. And people continued to post on that thread. I was at work, so I really couldn't keep up with everything that was being said and everything. But later that day, later that day, um, I got on Facebook. And, um, I went to look at his profile <laughs> and, um, I couldn't find it, which means that, like, he blocked me. <laughs> and, uh, and I was pretty hard, I was so heartbroken, I'm not gonna lie about it, because I, I knew that he had a girlfriend, he told me that, and he told me that, like, he didn't want to fuck me, which, I read the words when he said he didn't want to fuck me, but... I thought that maybe, I thought that maybe he was just saying that and he really didn't mean it. I was really hoping that he would fuck me, even though he lives in Canada. I'm willing to drive to Canada, take a plane, but that's not gonna happen now because he blocked me. So I don't really know like what I'm gonna do without somebody telling me like what I can post on my own Facebook page. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kinda of lost. You know, I'm just lost. I'm real lost right now, guys. I don't know how to handle this. I put up a post that, you know what, I was lucky to know Mark for a very short time. I was blessed with his presence for just less than 12 hours. All I can hope is that maybe one day he'll unblock me and, and comment again so maybe he would fuck me because that, that's really all I was looking for. Anyway guys, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have already, thank you so much. Um, I do videos every Tuesday and Saturday. I try to do funny stuff, but I also try to do things that make people think. I'm not really like your regular YouTuber, and I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. But guys, um, just remember, I do broadcasts on Bego Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday evening. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next time. And if anyone sees Mark, just tell him that I'm sorry. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Now maybe I did I mean to treat you bad yeah. But I did it anyway And then maybe And I'm like I wish I had some finger symbols right now I'm like show your face Like show your face So finally when he finishes playing the tabla He shows his face And then it's just a lot of this Hello Hello what are you doing?